the eyes, the window to the soul. Now there's a million and one ways to do your eyes, so this is just one of a thousand ways. I'm pretty much just gonna use blacks and grays for this one, so let's get started. As you can see, I've already started to outline where I'm gonna put my brows up here, a little bit higher than my natural brows would be. So we're gonna start by beginning to put our new crease where we want it to be. This is gonna be somewhat of a transition color, a darker silver. And I go in all the way to the corners of my eyes and almost out to the end of the tail, which there'll be plenty of blending going on too. And now to try to match that up with the other side. You can go back and forth if you slip up a little bit. So that's something that happens a lot with makeup, especially if you're trying the new style. Okay, so that's basically where I want my new crease to be. And this is NYX's Smoke and Mirrors. <laughs> okay, now let's see. This one was actually broken in the package when I got it and when I got it home I was very depressed because it does look like it would be a very pretty color and it's smashed so but I'm still gonna see what use I can get out of it uh, when I came in you notice that I already had a little bit of eyeliner and my eyeshadow foundation base on. I am going to go over the eyeliner again uh, with a liquid liner, but I just had to get real close to a bigger mirror to do that, so that's why I did that. And now I'm putting the lighter silver on below that, on the lid. And now on the other eye. Good 
highlight in the middle here. And it also helps to plant out any rough edges. eyebrows a little bit more and for that I am going to use <laughs> let me see I can use that but let's try this it cosmetics uh, brow power it's mainly meant to color in your eyebrows that you naturally have but let's see how it does for drawing them on from nothing seems like it's coming in kind of brown it says everything from kind of blonde to black you just have to keep going over it but i've gone over this quite a few times now and i'm really not seeing anything close to black but it does seem like something that if you were a medium to a dark brunette and you just had some spaces you wanted to fill in, it would seem like a good product for you. But for this particular look that I'm going for here, I think I'm just going to go back over this with a black pencil because it's just not doing what I want it to do for this look. Now, if I was going to, you know, maybe to a look with red or brown hair, this would be perfect for it, but I'm going black, black this time, so <laughs> uh, you know what, let's just do this, oh no, that is lipstick, we don't want to use lipstick, so I'm sure something around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Oh, here is just an eyeliner pencil. This will be fine for now, right? You know, on second thought, I'm seeing an eyebrow kit here. This is the uh, NYX eyebrow kit in black gray. Nor Doris. That Francis. So, let's just try this. Because I've done this before and it works pretty good and this gel kind of helps keep it in place a little bit better too.
So, how's everybody out there doing? Does anybody have a look that they'd like me to try and do? Anything special that you'd like to see me try and come up with a look for? Or I'd like to see you try to do this, that, or the other thing, or something else? Whatever, just let me know. See? That's not too bad. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. Okay. Now we're going to put a little bit of white on the middle. Just to make it kind of stand out. Sometimes when I'm really trying to get crazy with my eyes, it's, it can take forever. Great. 